Greetings Church. Today is uh, Sunday, the uh, 3rd of January 2020, and I want to wish you a Happy New Year. Uh, we are in 2021, and uh, today I am downtown Portland at the corner of 6th and Yam Hill, and uh, behind me is the Pioneer Square Courthouse. Across the street is Pioneer Square Court, um, Pioneer Square Park. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Christmas tree is still up and it is off. That means that they are uh, in the process of doing one thing and that is to uh, remove it from the city, uh, from downtown here. But today I'm here because of this, uh, the Gospel of John. Uh, remember we were reading it last year and um, keep in mind church, need your financial support, okay? Um, so last year uh, we did the Gospel of John at Christmas time, and this year we're going to come back and read John chapter 6, verses 1 through 71. Um, I already felt uh, the dropping of, of rain twice. Uh, it's pretty cloudy. You can see behind me it's not clear. Uh, the sun is not out. So if it starts to rain, uh, I'll pull out the umbrella here and try to finish. Um, the reading and then we'll go ahead and close it up because there are so many verses in the gospel uh, We're just gonna do it once and it's already 3 uh, 3 30 by my watch and I got to get to the storage um, To uh, to pick up my night gear uh, things have not changed with G Gabriel and um, uh, And John MacArthur things have not changed even in 2021 the hits come on a nightly basis and I'm hoping that where you're at you are uh, praying for me as I am praying for you. And it uh, looks like the train is coming, so it's gonna get pretty loud here really quickly. Um, Black Lives Matter and those people are still out. Um, they've been hitting at night. Uh, nothing has changed. Uh, the protest has continued and so have, uh, I guess, all the hits. Um, recently had an altercation under, under the bridge. I'm not exactly sure um, why, but uh, one of the women took it, uh, an American woman, and um, I'm glad it didn't lead to anything. She had threatened to stab me uh, to death uh, while I slept that night with a, uh, with a uh, not a kitchen knife, but a, uh, um, a machete. I'm not exactly sure who she was. I, I suspect that she was representing somebody from uh, either Grace Community Church or the Queen's House. I'm not sure who, but um, it was, Pretty, it was pretty bad. Um, I went to the police and filed reports. I had to call non-emergency, uh, actually called 911 three times, and then finally I called non-emergency and then went and filed a report with um, Officer Ivarsan. Uh, she took the report, um, and I don't know what happened after that. Um, I'm hoping that nothing more transpires. I had to remove myself from under the Moda Center Bridge. There was a gun produced. Uh, they didn't use the gun. Uh, this is the second time a gun has been produced by an African-American. They were also involved lightly in the situation. Uh, so this is the second time that a gun has been produced in dealing with the African-American community. And I'm hoping that it doesn't happen again. But because of time, I'm going to go ahead and just start reading the Gospel of John. Uh, beginning with the word of prayer. Good afternoon, Portland. Name is Kevin DeClaren, and I just want to wish you a Happy New Year. I hope that your Christmas and New Year went well, um, as did mine. Um, I had a short incident the other day under the Moto Center Bridge with some, um, what I, I, I thought was a crazy lady. I'm not exactly sure what happened or why, but she decided to come out and throw stuff at me and uh, threaten to um, stab me to death with a machete. Um, I'm not sure how the police dealt with it. I'm hoping not to ever have to deal with it. As a result of it, she had barred me from under the bridge. Uh, she had taken up residency and felt like this was uh, her home as well as that of some other people's homes. So I'm not sure how the police department dealt with it, but I gave them the information and I know now not to go back to the Motor Center Bridge. But we're not here to talk about that incident that occurred uh, this past weekend. We're here to talk about the Gospel of John. We started the Gospel of John in December of 2020 and we want to go back to 
the Gospel of John and read chapter 6, verses 1 through, I believe it is uh, 71. And it's just a quick reading, uh, just to whet your appetite and to remind you that um, God is still king over his planet. And God, I'm going to put this around the corner here for a minute. And God does not want you to forget who he is uh, in the midst of COVID, protests, tribulation, funerals, sickness, disease, and whatever else. Father, bless this reading of the Gospel of John. May, may, may you use it to nourish the souls of the American people. In Jesus' name, amen. John begins with verse 1 of chapter 6. After these things, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or Tiberias. A large crowd followed him, because they saw the signs which he was performing on those who were sick. Then Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was near. Therefore Jesus, lifting up his eyes and seeing that a large crowd was coming to him, said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these may eat? This he was saying to test him, for he himself knew what he was intending to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, for everyone to receive a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are these for so many people? Verse 10, Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the, in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. Jesus then, then took the loaves, and having given thanks, he distributed to those who were seated, likewise also of the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, so that nothing will be lost. So they gathered up and filled twelve baskets with fragments, from the five barley loaves which were left over by those who had eaten. Therefore, when the people saw the sign which he had performed, they said, This is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. Verse 15. So Jesus, perceiving that they were intending to come and take him by force to make him king, withdrew again to the mountain by himself alone. Now when evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, and after getting into a boat, they started to cross the sea of, to Capernaum. It had already become dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea began to stir, to be stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. Then when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near to the boat, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. So they were willing to receive him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. Verse 22. The next day the crowd that stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other small boat there except one, and that Jesus had not entered with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples had gone away alone. There came other small boats from Tiberias, near to the place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the small boats and came to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, where did you get here? <laughs> 